Welcome back, Nail Crew. Welcome back. We are diving right on in. I have so many goodies from the company Beatles. It's such a weird name. I have to tell you guys, it's a weird name, but wait till you guys see what I have from Beatles. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys are these nail tips, you guys. They are so nice. I'm going to show you guys one. Let me show you guys. The, I think this is the largest size. So let me pull that out of here. You guys, these tips are so nice. First of all, they're clear. So I love a good clear tip. But look at that, you guys. A nice little curve. With these nail tips, you could get a nice tapered square or you could turn them into coffin or of course you could use a pair of scissors and turn them into stilettos. So you could get any shape you want really out of these tips. I'm showing you guys the top side and the underside, giving you guys a good close up. They're just nice clear tips. If you guys are in the market for some nail tips, you could check them out. All right, so what's next? Let's look at these nail files. So obviously you guys, you put on some nail tips, you're gonna need to file them, right? You're gonna have to file them so beetles also have some nail files and this is what the package looks like Da, 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 da. Okay, so moving on. This is the fun box right here. The nail tips were cool. The nail files were cool. But this box is the fun box. Okay, so this box, you guys, look at the bling. You guys know I'm an icy girl. I'm an icy girl. I like bling. I like to be iced out. So it looks like I have some AB crystals. And it looks like I have, like, some white ones or clear ones. So, yeah. Yes, good variety. And then I have the big stones that I love. Thank you, Beatles. Thank you guys so much. And then this, guys. Oh, my God. Do you see these butterflies? Hold the thought on the butterflies for a second. Just, just keep the butterfly thought in your head. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a butterfly on the screen to remind you, to remind me to talk about butterflies, okay? So let's just hold that thought. But the fact that I got butterfly nail art is kind of cool, especially when I tell you guys the story that I'm going to tell you in the end of the video. Okay, so moving on, I have some striping tape and I'm trying to get into the package and I'm feeding this up because no one wants to watch me open packages, but here we go. Here it is, you guys. I have gold, I have red, I have purple, I have greens, you guys. Striping tape. And then I have some foil. So I have silver and gold nail art foil. So we can have some fun with that. And then I also have a nail art bling pusher tool. Love, love, love it. It is so cute, you guys. This is so cute. And I do have one like this that I use often. So now I have a backup. And I'm going to give you guys just a close-up if you guys are in the market for a nail pusher bling tool. Voila. All right. So I'm going to also show you guys now the brushes. This was a nice, healthy package. Beatles, you guys showed out. I didn't even know that you guys sold all of this stuff. I honestly thought Beatles was just about polish. I heard they had really good polish. So I thought they were a polish company. I didn't know they had like brushes and bling and foil and nail tips. I had no idea. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I disappointed you guys. I'm so sorry. But I'm on track now I'm on track now and as a matter of fact I will leave the link to Beatles in my description box of course and if the company gives me any coupon codes I will leave them in the description box as well so make sure you check out my description box go to their site use my code if they give me a code and if not still shop around because they have some really really cool stuff so this is the last brush I'm going to show you guys if you're in the market for some nail brushes check them out all right moving on to some nail glue so this is seven milliliter bottles and this is their brush on glue you guys so I have three of them they have a box of nail glue with three brush on full size bottles I think that is so dope that is so awesome so you could use this glue to glue on your nail tips and or to glue on your bling so I'm going to give it a sniff and see what it smells like so it just smells like regular nail glue. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything weird. It just smells like nail glue. All right, guys. So moving on to the gel polish. This has six of their gel polish bottles in here. I think there's seven milliliters is what it said on the top of the box. Just showing you guys all around the box because they went in on this packaging. They went in and they made sure that something was on all the sides of the box. So they utilized the box. <laughs> 
<laughs> they wrote something on all corners of the box. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. You got directions on one side. You have tips on one side. You have pictures on the other side. Like, they went in. So, I'm going to do my part and show you guys the packaging, okay? <laughs> all right, now let's dive on into the box. What I think is cool is this little sticker page here. So, you're supposed to add the polish to the little white circles. Cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Peel off the white paper sticker with the polish on it and stick it to the top of your polished bottle. That way you know what color is in the bottle. I hope that made sense. Um, I typically don't use those little white stickers, but they are there for you guys in case you love them. Here are the colors that I will be swatching for you. But before I do that, I want to show you guys this. Okay. This was sent to me by a nail sister and I already did the unboxing for this box. So I'm not going to go into detail, but what I did not do was swatch them for you guys. So I figured since I'm doing a Beatles video, I might as well swatch the old and the new, right? So here we have to my left, the older kit that was sent to me by a nail sister. And then over here is the newer kit that you just saw me open. And then I have their top coat and their base coat. So this one is, come on and focus. This one is their top gel. And then this one is their base gel. And then I also have their matte top coat. Now someone told me that their top coat was really, really good and shiny. I have not tried that yet. Um, and we'll do that in another video. Let's just focus on the colors for today. So the first one I'm going to show you is color 700. So while you watch me polish and as you drool over this glitter take the time to make sure that you are subscribed and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload next and while you're at it leave me a comment go ahead and share this video so that I can continue to grow all that all that it's free to show support like comment subscribe share all right so moving on you guys can watch me finish swatching while I tell you about the butterflies all right so here we go guys are you ready for a slightly creepy story it's story time time it's story time time yeah that makes sense it's time for story time it's story time time Ding! that's my story time chime all right here we go so you guys know my mom passed right about four years ago right 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 so after she passed my brother was on his way to my house I think it was like right after the funeral type thing and they came over my house something like that so anyway when he was coming to my house there was a small butterfly that was stuck in the car with him so i don't know how the butterfly got in there you know that's really not important but the the long and the short of it is that he had a butterfly in his car that stayed in his car from the time from his home to my home and that obviously never happened before so it was strange so we all kind of chalked it up to being like you know maybe that was our mom that went into this butterfly some type of way just to say that she's okay you know so that happened and that was like pretty much the day of her funeral which was four years ago so ever since then every time we saw like a really rare or weird butterfly we would always say you know that's our mom she's coming to say hi or give us a message or something like we never read anything about that we didn't know anything about butterflies and what they signified we just kind of made that up amongst ourselves right so that was part one of the story which started four years ago okay so then the other day my brother the same brother had a son and I tell you guys he created the most cutest little boy in the entire world okay hold that thought I will continue with my story hang tight I just want to show you guys this collection so these are the colors they all look very nude very fall I don't know why I always associate fall with kind of like nude colors or neutral colors so this looks like a very fall collection to me but it also looks like something you could wear year round especially if you're not into very loud festive nails such as myself <laughs> if you're not into loud crazy nails this would be a really good collection for you so i'm showing you guys in order the colors and the number that they're associated with so the second to the last one is i think i got this upside down uh 
I think that one was upside down. Yes. So it should be $6.99 for the second to the last one. And then the last color, that glittery color, is color number 700. So this is what that collection looks like. Really, really beautiful, rich colors. And I do want to point out, I swatched everything one time with you guys. I carried that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I did do a second coat off camera. I just left that part out uh, so the video wouldn't be too long. But when you guys look at the swatch sticks in the end, they are double coated. I just want to point that out there, okay? So that was the first collection, and now I'm moving on to the second collection. The second collection is mini bottles, you guys, and mini bottles are perfect for those of you who are just like nail enthusiasts so you're not a professional but you just like doing nails at home and maybe for family i feel like the small bottles are really good for you because you get to get more colors more of a variety but for me i like the small bottles because if i'm traveling the smaller bottles are easier to fit into my case they take up less room so that I could put more colors into that small little carry case. You guys have seen my carry case that I do when I travel. So the smaller bottles of polishes fit really well in there versus like the bigger bottles. So I have grown to really like the smaller trial size bottles. So anyway, okay, so continuing on with my story while you guys watch me swatch. Um, where was I? Okay, so my brother had a beautiful baby boy the other day. We're going to call this little boy Prince because he is such a freaking prince, okay? So my brother had a son. Now, my nephew was born, let's just say Monday. Let's just call it a Monday. He was born on a Monday. So on Tuesday, Diana and I were sitting outside and we were just looking at the grass because we were just like sitting out on my porch or whatever, drinking coffee, hanging out. So I don't have any flowers in my yard, people. I have no flowers at all. Yet I had like 5,000 butterflies in my front yard. I know you guys think I'm exaggerating or making this up. This is not like something you could make up. Like, like listen, we were so freaked out about it. So me and Diana are looking at these baby butterflies, you guys. Baby butterflies. I've never seen nothing like it. Especially since I do not have flowers in my yard. Like, why were y'all in my grass? What were y'all doing? It was like 5,000 or more. I felt like I was in a butterfly museum almost. That's kind of like what I felt like. I was in a butterfly museum. So we're looking at these baby butterflies and they kind of fly low to the grass. Um, and it was just so many. It was like really, really scary. So then Anthony comes outside and, you know, he's hanging out with us for a little bit and he's looking at these butterflies and he's like, dang, Nikki, what do they mean? I know you're going to look them up. And hell yeah, I did. So I looked up the freaking butterflies because I was like, I feel like this is a message like whenever there's something so out of the ordinary like that I always feel like it's a message from my mom or my dad I just always feel like that so I looked up the butterflies you guys are you ready for the chills are you ready for the chills I'm going to show you I googled butterflies I just googled like what does it mean when you see a lot of butterflies like I'm curious you guys I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you are you ready I gotta build the suspense I gotta build the suspense but are you ready for you to see what I saw <laughs> when I googled what do butterflies mean here we go y'all y'all about to get chills now I wasn't looking for it to say this specifically because I've already set that in my mind that it was a medium of communication from my mom already like I've already set that in my mind four years ago right so when I read this the other day I had chills like literally I had to read it like so many times back to back like what no way it meant that for me whether I found it in black or white or not so me looking it up was just really for fun for shits and giggles if you will i was just trying to see like what it would say but then it was like a confirmation for what i already knew 
So you guys, I had to screenshot it. I sent it to my brother, of course. I sent it to my sisters. Everyone's freaking out. I'm like, what? <laughs> we already knew that. But reading it out loud and seeing it in black and white on the internet kind of just made it a little bit more real for me. So for me, the butterflies were just saying like, tell your brother congratulations congratulations and then i also you guys are gonna think this is weird too but when we were little we would watch bambi hey all my bambi lovers out there so we used to watch bambi of course and my mom used to like that movie too and there was a part in there where i guess bambi was born and like all the little woodland creatures and all the little creatures that lived around were saying like the prince is born the prince is born right if you guys remember that scene oh my god i might have to put it in here for you guys what's going on around here But anyway, that's what I envisioned the butterfly saying. Dead ass, you guys. Like, I looked at the butterflies and I heard, a prince is born, a prince is born, a prince is born. Like, I felt like that's what the butterflies were telling me on behalf of my mother. Also saying congratulations. Also saying she was going to watch out for him and make sure that he was okay. Like I got all of that whole message just by the butterflies floating in my yard. And and you guys are probably asking yourself, well, if that's the truth, why didn't your mom come as butterflies to your brother's yard? Why did she come as butterflies to your yard to send you a message to give to your brother? I don't know, but the day that my mom died, the day that my mom died, I had a dream. In that dream, she came to me and told me, here are the winning lotto numbers. Give them to your brother. She said his name. Obviously, I just don't want to say his name right now in the video. But anyway, she was like, here are the numbers. She gave me the numbers and she said, give them to your brother so that he could play them. Of course, like... I wasn't thinking like my mom just died. Yes, I have a dream that she gave me the lotto numbers, but I wasn't really thinking like these are the real numbers. I don't know. Like my mind was just scrambled. So I do remember texting that message to my brother, to my sisters and like to my aunt or somebody. Nobody played the lotto. Nobody. Yeah. But that same day that I was talking about where everybody came to my house, my aunt said, you know what? Let me just check and see if we would have won had we played. And you guys already know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so sad. The numbers came out on pick three, you guys. The numbers came out. I don't know how to feel about it because obviously like if your mom dies like you're not gonna think let me go to the gas station and play the lotto like that's the farthest thought from your mind however she did give it to me in a dream like she was telling me Nikki here you go like I died but I'm still gonna help you guys out here's the I don't know you guys like looking back at it now I I am kicking myself I do wish I would have played the numbers but I didn't everybody was mad at me everybody including my grandmother my grandmother who does not even gamble she don't even gamble okay but she was mad at me for not playing the numbers that my mom gave me because we would have been rich. Oh my God, how did I even get there from the butterflies? I don't even know. But anyway, yeah, so let's bring this story full circle. So <laughs> I saw the butterflies in this box in the beginning of the video when I did the unboxing, right? I saw the butterflies. And of course, now whenever I see butterflies, the only thing I can think about is the butterflies flopping about in my front yard and then which automatically makes me think of my mom and automatically makes me think of my brand new nephew now so forever when I see butterflies that's exactly what I'm going to think oh that was a that was a good story that was an intense story you guys I hope you enjoyed that little story time that is the end of, <laughs> that's the end of the story let me close the book Ding! all right so <sighs> wow you guys wow okay 
So back to the polish, back to the polish, back to the polish. I always like to give you guys a story time when I'm swatching because watching me swatch can be a little mundane. It can be a little, you know, tedious and I don't want you guys to get bored. So I always throw in a story time if I can, if I can. So that story was very, very fresh in my mind because it literally just happened and I know you guys are thinking I'm making it up because you're like, what the hell? Why are there butterflies in your yard in November? It's winter time. There should not be butterflies. And that's what makes it weirder, you guys. That is not even freaking springtime. If it was spring, I'd be like, all right, well, you know, whatever. Maybe these are brand new butterflies. They just got born. It's springtime. They're confused. But no, it's freaking November. It's November. Okay, that's what makes the story even stranger. Like all of it, all of it is just strange. But it makes sense to me. And that's all that counts. That's all that counts. Okay, guys, here we go. So <laughs> showing you guys the swatch colors. I think they all look really, really good. Um, the glitter is too freaking die for. So all the glitter colors are my favorites. I just have to tell you guys that all the glitter colors are my favorite. Look at this one. Look at this whole disco party in a bottle. Get out of here. That color looks like it will literally go with anything. And this nude, come on. Come on, look at that nude. That's like a perfect freaking nude. And I got one more color to show you guys. And that is a wrap. Woo! You guys, if you guys stay with me for a whole 20 minutes, I love you guys so much. I love you guys so, 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 so much. This is the last glitter one, but I would use that one, $7.97, either as a glitter standalone, like I use it on a swatch stick, or as a topper where you could put it on the top of your favorite gel polish to give it another look. So that is it. That's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to check out my description box where you'll find the link to Beatles. And if I have a coupon code, it will be there as well. I love you guys so much. Tell me what you guys think about my butterfly story. And yeah, that's it. Gotta go. Bye.